question number 19 and we are told the frequency table below shows the daily wages paid to casual workers by a certain company uh, so we have wages in shillings uh, from 100 to 150 150 to 200 200 to 300 uh, 300 to 400 uh, 400 to 600 so the first thing that we should note here is that the interval is not the same that is from 100 to 50 we have 50 100 to 200 we have 50 200 to 300 we have 100 300 to 400 we have 100 and 400 to 600 is 200 uh, then we are given the number of workers uh, we are told in the grid provided draw a histograph to represent the above information so a histograph is drawn uh, like a bar chart but often has bars of an equal width like we have here it is the area of the bar that tells us the frequency in the histograph not the height uh, so what we are going to do here is uh, since we are given the number of workers uh, we are going to prepare a table that is going to help us to, to, to draw the histograph the histogram that is uh, so let me uh, put my table so that uh, we'll be able to fill the table that I'm going to use uh, so we have the frequency we have the crash width and we have the frequency uh, density the frequency density is a frequency uh, this is a this is a frequency uh, divided by the crash interval uh, so we have the frequency we have already been given so we have 160 uh, we have 120 we have 380 uh, we have uh, 240 and we have 100 uh, from there uh, then we have the class with the first one is 150 minus 100 you get 50 uh, the second one is 50 uh, we have the third one is 100 we have 100 and then we have 200 so we are going to divide F divide by C that is frequency divided by the class with and here we will get 160 divided by 50, that is 3.2. 120 divided by 50, we get 2.4. Then we have uh, 100 divided by uh, 380 divided by 100, you get 3.8. This you get it is 2.4, and this you get it is 0 0.5. So these are the values. We are going to plot the graph of the frequency density against. Uh, uh, the wages in shillings. Uh, so let's uh, get a, a graph paper and do that. So this is the grid that I'm going to use. I've already inserted my table. So we are going to plot uh, the the number of workers by the number of uh, by the frequency density which we have computed. So I'll say this is our zero. Uh, so I say this is one, this is two, three, uh, we have four. I think the highest density is uh, 3.2, uh, 3.8, so four is okay. Uh, so we have this is uh, frequency, uh, that is uh, uh, frequency density. Uh, this is a density. Uh, then here we are going to plot the number of workers so we start with 100 we come to 200 we come to 300 uh, 400 uh, 500 uh, 600 I think they don't exceed that uh, but we can say maybe 700 no problem uh, this is a, a number of uh, workers uh, so from there uh, we have our table here uh, so we have uh, we, we don't have the number of workers maybe let me put that uh, number classes of the number of people so 100 to 150 uh, the frequency density is 3.5 uh, 3.2 so 100 is here uh, 3.2 uh, we say it is uh, that point so we will draw a bar graph up to 150 uh, at 3.2 uh, 
Uh, so we, 150 to 200, it is 2.4. 150 to 200, it is 2.4. So that is where we have our uh, bar. Uh, then from uh, 200 to 300, uh, it is 3.8. So 200, uh, we have 3.8 is there uh, to 300. As uh, to 300 is 3.8. We draw our bar there, uh, then from uh, 300 uh, to 400, 300 to 400, uh, the dense frequency density, uh, we have, uh, that was 2.4, uh, we have um, 0.4, so this is where we have uh, 2.4, that is uh, from 300, uh, 2.4 is there and we put it there that is uh, and then from uh, 400 to 600 400 to 600 uh, then we have uh, it is 0 0.5 that is 0 0.5 so this is where we have our 0 0.5 so that is where we are the points where we are going to make bars to represent the histograph so let's do that so this is our histograms uh, so you can see that uh, we have plotted the frequency density against the number of workers which we have there. Uh, so let's go back to the question and see what is need, uh, what is required next. Part B, Roman number one, we are told state the class in which the median wage rise. Now, if you uh, if you add the uh, the number of workers that is frequency total up this that is 160 plus 120 plus 380 plus 240 plus uh, 100 you find that that will give you 1050 so you divide by 2 you'll be able to get 525 uh, so that is where uh, the mid uh, the median wage rise so the class is 200 to 300 so that's how you answer that and you get one mark uh, Roman number two draw a vertical line in the histogram showing where the median wage rise so the median ri ri wage rise at 525 uh, so let's go back to to the grid and uh, do that so to get the median mark we are going to take 600 you minus 100 that is the highest data and the lowest data uh, you'll be able to come up with 500 uh, we divide by 2 you get that is 250 uh, 250 uh, so it means the median lies at uh, 250 and 251 so we, we get the value 2.250.5. Uh, so we get, uh, we draw a line here showing the median. Uh, let's put that. So the blue line shows the median, uh, which we can uh, maybe, this is a median. Uh, uh, let's go back to the question and see what is expected again. Part C, uh, you are told using the histograph, determine the number of workers who earned uh, 450 shillings or less per day and you get three marks. So that is what is expected. 